The Golan Heights is a relatively small area of the Middle East that intersects Syria, Lebanon, Jordan, and Israel. The Sea of Galilee and various rivers offer a natural, if not disputed, border. It's named after a biblical passage from the books of Deuteronomy and Joshua and covers a bean-shaped area roughly 71 kilometers from north to south and 43 kilometers east to west at its widest. Nations have wrestled for supremacy over the ancient land for more than a century. In modern times, Jews began settlement attempts around 1894, but were thwarted by a hostile Arab population and Ottoman law. The French inherited the Golan as part of their mandate of Syria after the First World War, and independent Syria took over in 1941. Seven years later, another conflict left many dead while Syria fortified its western border. Israel eventually gained control through occupation of the territory during the Six-Day War in June 1967. That's a period of time that saw Israel triple in size while it fought with Arab neighbors Syria, Jordan, and Egypt. Settlements soon followed and Israel effectively annexed the Golan in 1981. Syria tried to reclaim the land in force during the 1973 Arab-Israeli War that eventually proved unsuccessful. On the 25th of March 2019, U.S. President Donald Trump signed a proclamation officially granting U.S. recognition of the Golan Heights as Israeli territory, while Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu looked on. So far, the U.S. is the only country to recognize Israel's sovereignty over the Golan. Both Canada and the United Nations refused to follow suit. John Haddon, Global News. For more news, sports and weather, please visit globalnews.ca.